I'm gonna recreate my Unity app bubble wrap in Scratch as fast as possible! The first step of the game plan is to just make the bubbles show up. I first try to import these fancy bubbles, but Scratch's colouring system is a bit weird, so I imported these plain bubbles instead. Now I just need to make a bunch of clones, but I had a bit of trouble with the spacing formula. <laughs> uh, yeah, nah. That looks alright. See that timer ticking down? This was meant to be a one hour challenge, but it took a little bit longer. Now for the popping mechanics. I set up mouse detection and cool color effects, but when I tested it, a pop doesn't do anything, I'm an idiot. <laughs> for making this pop script, the worst thing wasn't my bad skills in a children's programming language, it was the dumb timer. Maybe we can put it in this corner. Oh, now it's in the way of the make variable button. Uh, I don't know where to put this dumb thing. Just there, I guess. You see that pink thing? Yeah, I was adding the bubble sound effects. How's this? The pop sound sounds absolutely dreadful. So, we'll import the pop sounds for my game. Oh, that pop sounds better. Now, step three is... <laughs> okay, that can wait. The real step three is to add a nice, satisfying pop counter. Yes, yeah, so I've made a tutorial, I'll just backpack it. It got inspired by Jackson Academy, who got inspired by Griff Patch. <laughs> Since I just copy pasted it, the hardest thing was repositioning the counter. Now it's too close together, but who cares. It also feels very laggy. Is this Scratch or is this me? I think it was Scratch, but it also could be my bad code. Then I made it so when you pop all the bubbles, they refresh, so you get a new sheet. Huh, either that pops the bubble again instantly. <laughs> but with the refresh now working, aside from the weird FPS drop in full screen. I had all the essential bubble wrap features complete. I really want to add some advanced features, but first I needed to waste time with a horrible background. I actually have no clue what I'm doing. I've made the basics in like an half an hour. So I'll just add some music. So it's got relaxing music, a satisfying score counter, bubbles to pop. Nice. We've still got plenty of time remaining, so let's add advanced features like statistics and settings. I made a cloud variable. Anyone in the world can update these. I used it to store the total bubbles popped by everyone. I needed a way to display it because Scratch's orange boxes look ugly. We can get pen engine by DJ Pro. Grab the text engine. It uses pens so we can write whatever we want. I messed around with trying to position it for a minute. Now we need to set the styling and stuff. Reset. Pen color to black. Okay. I made the stats UI and tried really hard to make a button which didn't look garbage. Yes, that looks slightly less garbage, I think. Uh, I wrote some scripts to make the stats screen actually work and added some more stats like the bubbles you've popped and the time spent playing. Okay, <laughs> I've made the stats update live as well. So if there's multiple people playing, that, that number should climb live. As you can tell, I wasn't very confident, and for good reason. In the finished game, it didn't even work. I need to make the, the seconds update into minutes and hours. Some brief googling later. That's the stats screen done, except for it not working. So now for advanced feature number two. <laughs> We've got RGB bubbles now. Now this is a very hidden feature and it needs a secret code to activate. It's a very secret code. Can you guess what the next feature is gonna be? This is gonna be hard to do in the time frame we've got, and it's probably very stupid, but we can change the color of the bubbles here. And the timer is done. Yeah, I made the world's worst settings menu. The time was up, but the game wasn't finished. Whilst I was playing it to show off what would be the end of the video, I encountered a couple problems. Okay, there's already a bug. <laughs> I might work more on this and release it, because this is actually pretty fun. Now we're heading on to overtime. <laughs> okay, that's our overtime timer. The first overtime feature was making the stats menu not terrible. Okay, the stats menu doesn't work. No, oh, now none of the f them appear, okay. Okay, settings, but the stats are still appearing. Whew, that's annoying. Hide them, and they start Okay, and then they disappear, finally. Okay, settings is a bit broken now. 
Okay, that one wasn't too hard to fix. <laughs> I added a couple more settings, but got annoyed of seeing no icons, so went to the GOAT, phosphoricons.com. Oh, gear. We can just copy the SVG, paste it in. That's broken, okay? We've downloaded it anyway, so we can upload it. I also replaced my garbage stats icon. Nice. Okay, that looks better. I need to go to the toilet. I'm gonna leave the timer running. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> We got bubble wrap. What more could you want? Well, we want a clickbait thumbnail because I want to share this. The Mr. Beast font doesn't really fit, even though that's my default. <laughs> a lovely background. That is not lovely. That's really ugly. Um, to make anything bet look better, we can add a gradient. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at that blending. I'm a genius there. We can give it a nice stroke. <laughs> now we need the bubbles and put them in like the actual gameplay, you know, that looks all right We can use some filters bump up that brightness and contrast. There should be one for vibrant I don't know the number counter at the top. Okay. There's our counter. We can put that at the t uh, Okay. Oh, this stuff still there. Okay. The <clears throat> we got this we can center it over br over brighten it. I don't know I'm not good at making clickbait scratch thumbnails, only clickbait YouTube thumbnails. After spending even more time, I ended up with this. I don't know. I've spent long enough on this already. And now everything was done except the description. Ooh, I could share it now, but I could add the realistic bubbles. Ooh, I might want to add the realistic bubbles. Earlier, I said this wouldn't work because of Scratch's coloring system, but I could use Rip off Photoshop to colorize it instead. Image, adjustments, I think I did curves. No, it was not curves. Adjustments, levels. No, it was not levels. It was image, adjustments, color balance. So we can do blue and cyan. I imported it and made it so you could select the bubble type in settings. Oh, they are the wrong size. I think we need to shrink these to half size. Now let's see if this one works. Also, it's the wrong way around. Okay, so we got realistic bubbles. We also got unrealistic bubbles. I did some tests and finishing touches, then updated the description. <laughs> I'm gonna put the hashtag games in. I think bubble wrap's gonna be finished. So I'm gonna pause the timer and I'll put the exact time in. And I'm gonna hit the share button. Let's play the finished game. I actually think this version is better than my app. The pop counter is so much more satisfying and it's more simple. My Unity app, I got focused in all the complex advanced features instead of just making something simple and fun. In this Scratch game, half of the advanced features don't even work. Like the high score is, is wrong. <laughs> And the settings menu is very bland, really. An important part of the game is the music. It's relaxing. My app doesn't have music. <laughs> I am back. It's time for self-promotion. Download Bubble Wrap on Google Play. Nah. <laughs>